When you were young, you had your own set of values. Values that nothing could change. An ice cream cone was a snow-capped mountain of sheer delight. An autographed baseball was more precious than rubies. And a note from the teacher meant only one thing. Disaster. And that's our story tonight on Leave it to Beaver. Leave it to Beaver. Starring Barbara Billingsley, Hugh Beaumont, Tony Dow, and Jerry Mathers as the Beaver. Mother and father went to the picnic. Alice and I went with mother and father to the picnic. Mother and father had fun at the picnic. Alice and I had fun at the picnic. We all had fun at the picnic. <laughs> That's very good, Judy. Now, can anyone tell us what a picnic is? Harold. A picnic is where you go out in the country and eat food off the dirt. <laughs> oh, well, that's not bad. What else do we know about picnics? Theodore? When we go on a picnic, we eat hot dogs and hamburgers. Hamburglers? He means hamburgers, Miss Canfield. Beaver always talks that way. Oh. Thank you, Theodore. Now, that's all for today, class. <laughs> oh, Theodore. Uh, Theodore, My I... name's Beaver. Beaver? Is that your given name? Yes, ma'am. My brother given it to me. <laughs> Well, in the classroom, I'd better call you Theodore. Yes, Miss Canfield. Theodore, I have a note here to your mother and father. You'll be sure to give it to them, won't you? Well, uh, hadn't you better put that in one of your pockets? Uh-uh. They're full of dirt for my turtle. Oh. What did she do to you, Beaver? Didn't do nothing. She just gave me a note to take home. For your parents? Sure. What's wrong with that? You must have done something really awful. <laughs> I don't remember it. How about the time you hid in the locker during fire drill? Jackie Pryor took a note home and was expelled. I'll bet you're gonna get it. They'll throw you right out of school. Won't they throw him out of school? Thank you, dear. Uh -huh. oh, no dessert, Beaver? No. No what? No, I won't have any. <laughs> You have a new teacher, Miss Canfield. What's she like? Uh, all right, I guess. What happened to school today? She called me Theodore. <laughs> Can I be used? Yeah, I guess so. Well, Wally, uh, what about you? How you like Mr. Wilkerson? Oh, he tells jokes in class. Funny jokes? No. <laughs> May I be excused, too? Yeah. I want you boys to take a bath tonight before you go to bed. Okay, Mom. Don't forget. Okay. <laughs> Wally. Were we supposed to take a bath before we went to bed? Oh, yeah. Hey, Beaver. 
Well, what happened to you in school today? Well, they remembered to take their baths. I get that. You're going to be expelled out of the second grade? Who gave you that crazy idea? Miss Cantor gave me a note to take home. A note? Well, what's in it? I don't know. It's a note, all right. There's a lot of writing in there. Why didn't you give it to Mom? I'm scared of what's in it. But you don't know what's in it. That's all I'm scared. <laughs> Wally? Yeah? Did you ever get a note from school? Yeah, once. What happened? I had to go to summer school. <laughs> Wally? What is it now? Would they spell you if you hid in the locker during fire drill? I don't think so. One of the big kids from the third grade said they just might suspend me. <laughs> well, we did that to a couple of kids last year. But they're not going to throw you out unless you've done something really bad. jumped out of all the girls. <laughs> That's kid stuff. They wouldn't expel you for that. They wouldn't even suspend you. Hey, weren't you sitting in the cafeteria on Thursday? Yes, but that wasn't my fault. Nam and Del pushed me, and I bumped into Mr. Thompson's cocoa. <laughs> well, maybe Miss Canfield just has a grudge against you. If she's gonna be mean, Mustn't she have a reason? Of course not. When you're an older person, you don't have to have a reason to be mean. <laughs> hey, you know something, Beaver? What, Wally? You'll be the first kid to ever be thrown out of the second grade in the history of the school. <laughs> Wally? Couldn't we open the note? Of course not. That'd be dishonest. <laughs> Hey, B, can I buy some of your turtle dirt? Sure, Wally. It'll leave a ring. <laughs> Bye, Miss Campbell. Bye. 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 Uh, Theodore. <laughs> I found this under your desk at lunch hour. Uh, sorry, must have dropped it there. Isn't this the note I asked you to give to your parents last night? <laughs> I must have gossiped. Oh, you mean forgot it? I must have forgot it. <laughs> but, Theodore, you promised me you'd give it to them. Well, I was gonna, but there was a fire. <laughs> what fire? Our stove blew up. Oh, dear. Was anyone hurt? Yeah, no. My big brother, Wally, quick put it out. He got a extinguisher. It went... <laughs> well, that's a shame, but uh, couldn't you have given your mother the note after the fire was out? She had to go bring back Dad. He's in the hospital. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. What's the trouble? I think the doctor says he's got symptoms. <laughs> Can I go home now? I have to help my mother. Well, of course. I, I know how busy she is, but do try and bring an answer back from her tomorrow, hmm? Yes, Miss Canfield. Isn't that the little cleaver boy? Having problem with the note, Mrs. Rayburn. He forgot to give it to his parents. Well, they have such important things on their minds at that age. Well, I know he's upset. Seems they brought his father home from the hospital last night. Oh, what a shame. He's on our father's committee. 
I tell you what, before I drive you home, let me stop at the office. I'll send him some flowers. <laughs> well, Miss Canfield, Miss Rayburn. Oh, Wally. Quick thinking last night with your father laid out. Well. <laughs> well, that's funny. He looked as though he didn't know what I was talking about. Well, he's in the eighth grade. It's a stage they go through. <laughs> this note you sent home with little Theodore, he's not giving you trouble in class, is he? Oh, no. We're having our fire prevention pageant next month. I want him to play Smokey the Bear. Oh. Okay, what did you buy? I didn't buy anything silly, it's what you did. And right out of the blue, old darling, it overwhelmed me. The new seat covers on the car? <laughs> no, silly, the flowers. Oh. They just came, come on. <laughs> oh, they're lovely. You haven't done this in years. I still haven't done it. I didn't send them. Oh. Well, then, who did? Maybe you have a secret admirer. I don't, but you do. Hope to see you back on your feet soon, Cornelia Rayburn. Who's Cornelia Rayburn? When did she see you off your feet? The only Rayburn I know is Mrs. Rayburn, the grammar school principal. Well, why would she send you flowers? How should I know? Maybe it's Arbor Day. Hope to see you back on your feet again. Well, she intended this for someone who's ill. Well, I'll call her up tomorrow and let her know. Ward? Mm-hmm. Why don't you ever send me flowers? I'm the kind that says it with seat covers. <laughs> hey, how could you have lost the note in the first place? I don't know. I didn't go anywhere. I was in my shoe when I left school. Then I went to the candy shop. And I watched some men change a tire on a bus. And then I helped Johnny Cooper look for four leaf clovers. I couldn't have lost it. Somebody must have taken it. Boy, you're in a mess. If I don't bring an answer to Miss Canfield, she's going to send for Mom. Miss Canfield might even hit me. Only the coach can hit you. <laughs> They're gonna spell me sure. If what are we doing? We're writing an answer to the note and wipe your nose. <laughs> How can we write an answer to the note if we don't know what was in the note? Look, it's from your teacher, so it has to be something bad. But I don't remember what bad I did. I'm writing an answer that'll cover anything bad you ever did. <laughs> That's a good idea. You think it'll work? Dear Miss Canfield, I have received your note dated two days ago, the one you sent home with Beaver. She calls me Theodore. Door. <laughs> I have whipped him. His father has whipped him. He is very sorry. We are very sorry. Your friend, Miss Ward Cleaver, the beaver's mother. She calls me Theodore. I have whipped him. His father has whipped him. He is very sorry. We are very sorry. Your friend, Mrs. Ward Cleaver, Theodore's mother. I know the household must be upset with the fire and Mr. Cleaver in the hospital, but why would they punish the little boy simply because I want him to play Smokey the Bear? Miss Canfield, this is your first term with the second grade. There's something you should know about little boys and notes. <laughs> yes, Miss Rayburn? I think the best way to clear the situation is to have Mrs. Cleaver come in tomorrow for a little talk. I'll call her this evening. Hurry up, boy. 
worries. You're going to be late for school. Bye, Mom. Mm. I'll be home right after school and tell Dad to bring home the fish food. Beaver! Bye, Mom. Mm. I love you and I'll pick up my room later. <laughs> Mom? Are you going someplace today? Yes, Beaver. As a matter of fact, I am. I'm going down to your school. Any idea why your principal would want to talk to me? Uh, maybe Wally done something bad. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Mr. Cleaver and I'd be only too happy to let the Beaver be in the pageant. I'm sorry he misunderstood about the note. And I'm going to speak to Wally about his part in it, too. Well, I hope Theodore isn't too upset. And I hope he'll be back in school tomorrow. Yes, well, good. <laughs> back in school tomorrow? But he left home this morning. Isn't he here now? Well, I'm afraid not. Miss Canfield reported him absent. Dear, that was over two hours ago. Where do you suppose he is? I wouldn't worry. They never go far. <laughs> Or do you really think he's run away? Fever! No, but I'd feel a lot better if we found him. Fever! Fever! Is he in there, Wally? No, but he's been here. Here's his lunchbox. Oh, wouldn't you know? Didn't eat his tomato again. Now, look, Wally, I want you to take us every place you think he might be. Okay. Fever! Well, he was around here the other evening, brought me a mason jar full of fireflies. Don't believe I've seen him since. These people looking for your brother because he'd done something wrong? We're looking for him because we're his parents. His parents, huh? Hmm. You sure don't look like he described you. No, Wally, I ain't seen the beaver in a couple of days. He was in last Saturday to borrow a can of grease off of me, but I ain't seen him since. Yeah, well, well thanks a lot, Fats. Uh, yes, much obliged, uh, Fats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were here. Been looking all over for you. What have you been up to? You won't say anything, will you, Gus? Of course not. I'm running away, because I got spelled from school. I gotta go now. You won't say anything. Not a word. Thanks, Gus. Say, Beaver, that father of yours, you sure he's the one that run the whole Navy during the war? <laughs> <laughs> Where else he be, Dad? Hey, uh, have, have you fellas seen a little boy? We've just been playing. We ain't seen anybody, mister. Well, well, he's about eight years old. He's my brother. Your brother, huh? What's he look like? You know, he looks like a kid. <laughs> he was wearing jeans and a blue sweater. Does he have a baseball cap on, lady? Well, yes. Would that be him up there? <laughs> Beaver, what in the world are you doing up there? Sitting in a tree, Dad. Well, come down. I... Well, don't frighten him. He might fall. Uh, well, Beaver, come on down, boy. Supper's ready. Uh-uh. <laughs> Beaver, please come down out of that tree. I can't. You'll hit me. He's been up there an hour, lady. Well, we've been looking for him all day. Beaver, come on down here. What's the trouble? There's a boy up there in that tree. Oh, I thought it was a cat. Come on, Beaver. <laughs> Hi, Wally. Hi, Beaver. You squealed on me. 
I had to. You know how it is. Theodore Cleaver, I demand you come down out of that tree this minute and stop this foolishness. I'm not coming down. You'll hit me. Well, you just better better. Why, <laughs> oh, Beaver, you know we never hit you. What about the time I spilled the ink on the rug? Uh, never mind. I don't think he's coming down. He'll come down all right. Beaver, you come on down out of that tree or I'm coming up there after you. Uh-uh. I'm going to stay here until I die. And then you'll be sorry. All right. Well, all right, Beaver. If you want to stay up there, I guess your father and Wally and I will just have to go home and have supper. You're going to leave me here alone? Well, that's what you want. But if it rains, I'll get all wet. Yes, I guess you will. Maybe I'd better come home and get my raincoat, and then come back up here. You know, that's a good idea. Boy, when they get him home, they'll really kill him. I gave the beaver a hot bath. It was a little worse for wear. <laughs> I'm not in such good shape myself. Ward. Uh-huh. Do you think he would really have stayed up there until he died? Sure. I would have when I was a kid. If you said you were going to, you did. Ward. Uh-huh. Oh, the note and the beaver being scared and running away. You think Miss Canfield will understand all that? She might. I think there's a pretty good chance she was a kid once herself. <laughs> Theodore, you can catch up with the rest of the class tomorrow. You know now what was in that note I wrote to your mother and father, don't you? Yeah. You wanted me to play Smokey the Bear. Well, that's right. Why did you assume that what I wrote in the note was something bad? I don't know. Well, you must have had a reason. Well. Well, what? I guess it's because you're a teacher. <laughs> Theodore, teachers aren't the natural enemies of little boys. You know, it's very hard to be a good teacher. Well, someone once said that a good teacher is like a candle, consumes itself to light the way for others. Do you understand? Kind of, sort of. You know, this is your first year in the second grade, and it's my first year, too. We could learn a lot from one another. Would you help me? I'll try. For one thing, don't make the boys wear aprons when we do finger painting. <laughs> well, that's a very good suggestion. I'll remember that, Theodore. Miss Canfield, will you do me a favor? Sure. Call me Beaver? <laughs> It's a deal, Beaver. Can I go home now? Of course. Hurry up, boys. You're going to be late for school. Bye, Mom. I'll be home right after school and tell Dad to bring home the fish food. Bye, Mom, I love you. And I'll clean up my room later. Oh. Hey. What's this? It's my shrunken head. Oh, so it is. Why are you taking it to school? I thought Miss Canfield might like it. You know, I think she might too.